Hey everybody, what's up? This is Crypto Cody, and I'm so excited to do another video for you guys. Guys, if you could do me a huge favor, please like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification. That would mean the world to me. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Chainlink protocol and some of its partnerships, as well as the future possible price prediction of Link in and of itself as an asset. So let's dive into this awesome crypto asset and talk about Chainlink. Alright guys, so uh, the market is looking pretty good as far as um, just kind of slowing down on its panic sell. Uh, we're hanging out somewhere around $150 uh, billion, dollars and, which is crazy. I never in my, you know, I never at once this year ever imagined that we'd possibly be this low in the market, especially for, um, you know, just a, a couple of months right before the halving is going to be taking place for Bitcoin. So this is just an awesome opportunity in my opinion. Um, again, no financial advisor, please make sure that you take full responsibility for your financial actions. Um, but that's just my humble opinion. Um, I also think that, you know, it's just such a great time to grab so many different crypto assets. And, uh, but specifically today, what I want to talk about is Chainlink. This is quite an opportunity. There's a lot that I uh, could talk about it as far as its use case goes, but and we're going to dive into that a little bit too. And just the numbers and, what, you know, as far as the future of its potential price prediction. So let's kind of hop into it. All right, guys. So Chainlink. So now this is quite an awesome network. And I want to kind of just dive into this as simple as I possibly can. Uh, as far as, you know, just being a consumer goes or an investor in the link token. Um, I think that it's just, you know, I don't want to get too deeply into it. Giving your smart contract probably secure access to data feeds, APIs and payments. All right. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here is, is we're we're dealing with a a network that allows smart contracts and data to be transferred on the blockchains and um, you know from basically on chain and off chain so now this is this is really really interesting and you know we're living in a world that is just full of data where data has just become so incredibly valuable to people I mean everything that we do all day long requires data that needs to be stored and identified there's just so much going on with uh, specifically on the in the crypto world that's going on with just transferring data and legitimizing that data with nodes and i think that Chainlink is going to play a very large piece to the puzzle of identifying information and validating it so basically uh connecting your smart contracts to the inputs and outputs is needed Building a truly valuable smart contract requires the use of multiple inputs to prove contractual performance, as well as multiple outputs to affect your outside system and or send payments to complete the smart contract. Chainlink provides your smart contract with the inputs and outputs it needs to reach its full potential. Okay, so again, just validating information to its absolute fullest and doing it in the cleanest and best way possible. A uh, smart contract requires secure middleware to connect them to the real world data. The, this external data will trigger the contract, creating the need for its high reliability. Okay, so here's the problem, okay? The problem is that smart contracts can't access data on their own. When developers implement their chosen smart contracts, they encounter a connectivity problem. The smart contract is unable to connect with the key external resource like off-chain data and APIs. So here's a quick little definition. An application programming interface is what the API stands for. An application programming interface is a computing interface exposed by a particular software program, library, operating system, or in internet service. It allows a third party to use the functionality of its software application. In this context of the internet, a web IPA refers to the use of a third party web service and sites typically over the http so when you have their smart contracts that are created right now it's currently unable to connect with the key external resource okay um like off-chain data on the api so that's what it's saying so it, there is no way to connect to that but that's what Chainlink network is all about is they want to be able to connect that so that you can actually have this bridged gap between the apis and the blockchain. So that's what's so beautiful about this process and what I believe is gonna be very seamless and a very large part of the adoption for the basic generic consumer using this particular technology. 
So centralized oracles. Now this is really, really interesting and important as well. Oracles are a point. Uh, centralized oracles are a point of failure. Connecting smart contracts to the data inputs through a single node, creating the same problem that smart contracts themselves seek to avoid. A single point of failure, which is a single oracle node. Your smart contract is only reliable as one node. Okay, so here's what's cool. Here's what's cool about the Chainlink network and what they're doing is they have a high reliable decentralized Oracle network. Chainlink's decentralized Oracle network provides the same security guarantees as smart contracts themselves by allowing multiple chain links, chain links to evaluate the same data before it becomes a trigger. We eliminate any one point of failure and maintain over value of a smart contract that is highly secure, reliable, and trustworthy. And what's even more cool is, is that when, um, when the off chain, with the off chain nodes, there's a compensation and that's where the whole link piece comes in. So every single time, you know, or if someone who you, if you're setting up these off chain nodes, those off chain nodes get that compensation. As this continues on and goes on more and more and more, I believe is going to create more um, value in the price of link in and of itself. So um, that's basically, I mean, there's, please read the white paper. There's so much that could be said about this. Oh yeah, one more thing I actually wanted to share with you guys is that um, Chainlink actually has a massive, massive um, partnership with another network called the Swift Banking Network. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, you are more than likely have been a part of the process of it in data transferring because the Swifting Network actually deals with probably 80% of all the banking industries around the world. So it's a massive, massive industry. And uh, currently right now, uh, Chainlink is only running a small Oracle on it. But that's a huge step forward to be tied into one of the largest processing networks in all of banking history right now, uh, that Chainlink gets to be a part of that in a small way. And um, it, just, it just builds credibility for Chainlink's network just in general. So that's super exciting. And I think is uh, arguably one of the biggest partnerships that Chainlink has right now. All right, guys, so here we are coming in for a landing. Let's talk about is Chainlink a good investment um, or Link? Is Link a good investment to be uh, to be buying up on right now as it is currently sitting at $2.18. It's down 4% on the 24 hour period as well as a rank 13 on the total market cap. Um, it's interesting because its total supply is 1 billion. Now, um, I think that there's something to be said for this, okay? If you think about it realistically, XRP, when the total market was over 800 billion, was rocking a price that was over three dollars. But let's just assume that um, the XRP only hit, say, two dollars and eighteen cents. And it, you know, you have to understand that XRP has a total supply um, that is way, way more. I mean, we're talking like a hundred times more than the current total supply that Link has. When you think about it, if we were to hit a total market cap of eight hundred billion to to a trillion, in theory. If people were to invest in the technology of Chainlink by purchasing Link the same way that Ripple was being used and, and going up in price, I mean, you're looking at something that could easily go up to $200 because it would be 100 times the current price right now, which is $2.18. So yes, I mean, I think that, you know, if we have a total market capitalization of um, $1 trillion, it is very, very possible that we could see Chainlink at $200 per link. I'm not a financial advisor, so make sure that you take full responsibility for your actions financially that you make after this video. But I want you to make sure that you understand it is very, very possible that Chainlink with a total supply of only a billion can reach above and beyond the $100 to $200 uh, to the USD value. Now you have to also take into consideration that Chainlink has, um, you know, the competitors really, what it comes down to is um, there's really three types of competitors and we kind of talked a little bit about it is that um, they're really centralized oracles, other decentralized oracles, uh, oracle networks, and then I would say off-chain com uh, computation environments. In terms of the centralized competitors, I'd say Oracleized would be the main one um, as far as the current choice of smart contracts needed, being Oracle itself as a service. So I, I think that, you know, it, it is very unique in its use case and it just has a lot of opportunity. Um, I mean, if you look at the chart, I think it's very safe to say 
that right now is a beautiful time to be purchasing as we've really plummeted in price uh, from being only $4.15. And I say only because you gotta understand that right now, as far as the ROI goes, I mean, we're up a thousand plus percent on the ROI. So it's, you know, I, I personally don't like to invest in things that are showing a lot of green on the ROI um, at this point in time with different assets and stuff. But I, I still stand to believe that the technology stands firm to be a, of, of intrinsic value for, um, you know, just being able to bridge those gaps that we talked about. So I think that there's a lot of opportunity with that. Um, I mean, right now, based on the initial high, um, you're only looking at close to $5. So at this point, it's only gonna be like a one, one and a half X based on its all time high. Granted, this is a fairly new project, so it's not like this is something that's going to be, um, you know, not taken into account for what it's gonna do as far as price action in the future goes. So anyways, yes, I do think that this is a great investment. I think there's a lot of opportunity with it. Um, it's not my first choice of investment personally. However, um, I still think that you wouldn't, do too bad to invest in it on my person in my personal opinion especially considering that the price is tremendously down right now uh where we've seen like a over 40 percent drop just as past like week so i mean but that you know there's something to be said for that with a lot of different assets that are on uh the coin market cap right now so anyways that's my opinion of Chainlink. Uh, i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions in the description below um in the comment section would love to uh bring more videos to you guys if you guys could please just like this video again and uh, just let me know if there's anything that you want me to talk about especially in this time of just buying opportunity i would really love to hop into it for you guys so thanks so much for hanging out with me guys i really appreciate it uh make sure that you guys stay safe with the virus that's going around i will chat with you all soon crypto cody out